Ciao, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium chloride. To do so, I've created a nice little table. Watch how fast this is. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write the elements down that I see in the compound. So we see potassium K and we see chlorine Cl. Next is then to identify the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of that element, there is an, assu there is an assumed one down there. So there's one potassium and also one chlorine. Then we're going to multiply those numbers by the mass of each particular element, and those masses are found on the table. So let's take a look. What table, by the way? Not the table right in front of you, but the, well, this actually is right in front of you. I'm at the physical table in front of you, but this, well, I guess this is physical too, although it's virtual. But this table right here in front of you is going to be the periodic table. So here we got 39.10, we got chlorine is 35.45, so let's write them on down. Right, so here for potassium we got 39, 39.10, for chlorine we got 35.45, and all we're simply going to do is multiply the row and across to find the total mass of the element. That's the next step. So here, the total mass of potassium here is going to be 39.10. Total mass of chlorine is then going to be 35. Let me make that a little neater, right? 35. What? 35. There we go. 0.45. Okay. Now that my hand is spazzing. Anyway, uh, add this column on together and... Uh, you will arrive at the total mass of the entire compound, so 74.55. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in gram per mole. That's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much for watching. Now you know how to find the molar mass of potassium chloride. See you soon.